In the previous lesson, we saw how to create vectors using the C function that is by passing multiple values of the vector as an arguments to the C function but it's not always feasible to create large and customized vectors using that method. In this one, we will learn a more straightforward and direct way to create vectors. So the first one would be, say I want to create numbers from 1 through 10. I would write 1 followed by a colon and 10. If I run this, it's going to create a vector from the numbers 1 through 10. And I can even save this directly to the object A. And now A contains 1 through 10. Similarly, this would work for any numbers. If I want to go from 10 to 1, that is also possible. Right? But what happens like if I want to leave gaps between the numbers such as that is I don't want 2, 4. I want only the odd numbers from 1 to 10. I can use seek for sequence in that case. How sequence works is I specify the first element in the vector. Then I specify the last element. Say I want to go to 20 and I should specify the step argument that is the by. Say by default for this previous two cases the by argument was 1 but if I specify the by as 2 it will create all the odd numbers that is the difference between successive numbers would be 2. That is the meaning of the by is equal to 2 argument. If you notice, it did not print out 20 because the highest number we have asked the number to print to be 20. So it will leave out 20 and end at 19 itself. Say, if I want to get only the even numbers, how would I do it? Start with 2 or maybe 0, end with 20 and my by would be 2. That would give all the even numbers from 0 to 20. Alright, now let's go to the second case. Say I know the first element in my vector and I know the length of the vector and the by that is a step argument. I can handle that way also. Say I want my vector to start from 1 and I need 50 elements and my by would be say 0 0.5. If I do this, it will create the, my vectors accordingly. This 1, 1 1.5, 2 and so on. There will be totally 50 elements in this vector. Let me save this. After creating all these vectors, I can choose to append or combine them together using the C function. Generally, this is how C is used. Now, A4 will contain the elements of A1 that is 10 to 1 and then followed by all these elements. Let's check. 10 through 1 and then 1 to 25.5, right? Now let's see how to handle repetitions. Say if I want some of my elements to repeat a certain number of times, there's a convenient function for that called rep. If I want one to repeat five times, I'll do something like this. I want one to two repeat ten times. The one to this sequence will repeat ten times. I can also make something like this. each three times so one three and two will repeat that is each element of this vector will repeat three times each think about what would this give what this should give is i have placed one two three inside this function and each element of one two three vector will be repeated four times so it should be one 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 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 3. And this whole sequence should repeat two times. So it's a bigger vector. And this is the result how it would look like. 1, 1, 1, 1. And the whole thing repeats twice. Here is another brain teaser. What would this give? I have 1, 2, 3, 4 vectors passed into rep. And I have passed another argument that's not as simple as what we have seen so far. The argument itself is a vector. That is the times argument. Let's see the result. What this has done is it has repeated 1, 1 time, 2, 2 times, 3, 3 times and 4, 4 times. These functions can be a little tricky in the beginning but if you practice a little bit, you will have a good hold of it. One final thing before we move on to the quick challenge is rep, that is the repeat function, will work as good with alphabets also. So I'll have a few alphabets as the main vector and I will ask it to repeat 
in this pattern so a will be repeated once b should be twice c should repeat three times and it does exactly the same all right now it's time for the quick challenge what i would like you to do is i want you to give a shot at creating a vector of this format not manually but by using the functions that we learned in this video i will pause now for you to, to give it a try once you are done come back and check for the answers good luck hope that went well this is a little bit tricky challenge so how i would do it is rep the base vector remains the same but the repeat pattern i can define using the times argument and the way i want it to repeat is one three times two twice three ones and four four times so this itself is a new vector three comma two comma one comma four if i do this i get the answer if you got this right a big congratulations because this is a bit tricky anyways let's move on to the next one